Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 5 of our Kotlin tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about arrays in uh, Kotlin. So, I have created this project in which I have this uh, uh, button on this uh, designer and uh, we have connected this button, that button to this Java code and we have created the click listener. If you do not know about button, uh, you can go to the playlist, uh, this playlist and check the first video which is about button. So now we will create an array here. So, uh, so arrays are used to store multiple items of the same type or same data type. For example, if we have created a, an array of uh, strings, then we cannot put integer into it, it will uh, all contain strings. Now, uh, if we create an integer array, so we cannot put strings in that uh, integer array, it will always contain integers. So the question arises that oh, why we create arrays? So we create arrays to, for example, if we have to uh, store or create um, 100 fruits names so we have to create uh, 100 different strings for that so for the simplicity of that we can create an array of type string and we can put all the 100 names into it and then we can access them so now we will create an array and we will learn about its syntax so i'll come here and now i'll create a, a wall variable and i will give it a, a name a equals and uh, then I can use array of and then I can use the values now if I put here uh, mango then apple then um, banana and then orange so now this is an array of strings we have created an array of string so it uh, start with this war or wall keyword and then it takes a name then equal sign then this uh, array of uh, method and then we can put uh, our values into it now optionally you can put here in angular brackets you can put string but it is optional if you do not put it here it doesn't matter now we will create an integer array so wall on b equals array of and now i can put values 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and similarly you can create a byte array and a, uh, a character array and so on now uh, optionally you can use here end keyword then this a became a capital this one so you can declare it uh, like this and you can use all uh, and declare a primitive type arrays like this you can use your byte array of and uh, similarly you can use a short array of long array of so now we will uh, get the values from these arrays and we will put some values into this array at runtime so there are two ways to get values from uh, arrays in Kotlin so uh, we use indices in both uh, ways so now I'll use a uh, uh, print ln and now I'll use here uh, uh, a and square brackets and now I want to get this apple so I will use one and similarly I can use print ln and from b I'll uh, get this um, 
3 so I'll use 2 because and this is starts from 0 so 0 1 2 so 2 will print 3 and here we have used 1 so this is mango is on 0 and apple is on 1 so it will uh, print apple and 3 so let's run this application so now the application is running so if I click on this show data types now you can see here apple is printed and 3 is also printed now the other way is uh, to use a dot git and now put the index so I want to get this orange so 0 1 2 3 so I'll use 3 here and similarly I can use here b dot git and now I'll use uh, another index in this so I want to show this for so 0 1 2 3 I'll use 3 and uh, now if I run this again quickly so now the app is again running so now if I click on this so our view is not available so I'll go to tools and uh, run so now it will show it here and now you can see that it uh, is showing orange and four as we have got values from this array now and we will print the size of these uh, arrays so for that I will come here and I'll remove this and also this one so I'll use a dot size and uh, and similarly here I will use b dot size and now if we run this application so now the application is running so if I click on this button now if I go to this console you can see that the uh, a size is 4 and b size is 5 which is 0 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 5 so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you